when I found out about uh, the situation and giving this presentation, I sent an email to Michelle and said, well, what do you think? How should I handle this? And he said, well, uh, why don't you come and give a presentation and talk about the excitement of zeolites as a field and see if you can get some younger people interested. So uh, my task today is to try to take you through some of the excitement of the field, but also show you some of the issues involved in uh, some of the commercialization challenges. Okay, my pointer. You can still hear me over here, right? My pointer works. Uh, first thing I want to point out is we have 15 symposia this week, and you won't see the word zeolite in any of them, but as we go through uh, the talk, by the end of the talk, I hope I will persuade you that zeolites will have a large impact in most of these technology areas that we'll be talking about during the week. Well, let's start out, I know a number of you are not working with zeolites, so I wanted to spend a few slides kind of introducing you to some of the key properties. So uh, here I have a zeolite model. You can see a highly ordered, uh, regular crystalline system. We have uniform pores and this structure are about five and a half angstroms. The impetus for the field and its uh, resources to sponsor it mostly came from the fuels and chemicals areas initially. And gas separation is a area of technology as well. As Michelle said, uh, later lubricants became an important uh, field to develop group two and group three base oils from using zeolite materials. Environmental protection has been an important use of zeolites for a while and continues uh, to be so today and we'll have a little more about, to say about that a little later. Some of the newer areas that are kind of exciting are these attempts and efforts to develop zeolites as membranes uh, for separations and some sophisticated applications as catalysts for pharmaceuticals, where we'd like to have more green chemistry practiced. And uh, one of the areas that I'm excited about quite a bit is uh, and pioneered or spearheaded by Professor Yushan Yang at UC Riverside is uh, materials, low dielectric K materials for electronics. Okay, it's early, you're just getting settled in, maybe some people brought in breakfast and so forth. Um, if you're not comfortable with roller coasters, maybe you change your situation over here in terms of seeding, but what I want to do is kind of take you through a ride from this particular zeolite structure and point out a couple of things having to do with acid sites and the fact that the zeolite materials are crystalline are not just simply an array of pores. In the earlier slide I forgot to mention that as crystalline materials we're looking at the points where the lines intersect are sites for tetrahedrons. So these are typically silica. Other elements can substitute and we're not showing the larger oxygen connect all of those points. Oops, let's go back. Shape selectivity and transparency. 